The woman who lost in court to former Padres player and her ex-fiancé, Brian Giles, wants a new jury to hear her case. The high-profile legal battle between Sherry Olvera and Brian Giles is headed back to court tomorrow. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco shows us the information she is fighting to have heard. Sherry Olvera says this surveillance video taken from a Phoenix bar in 2006 proves Brian Giles abused her. She says once they walked behind these curtains, the former baseball all-star knocked her to the ground. I don't know if he like hit me or what he did, but I just remember being jerked backwards and thrown forward. And then all these people come, you know, and are yelling at him and trying to help me. The former Padres outfielder pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor battery charge, but that information wasn't permitted during the civil trial. Olvera's attorney wants a new jury to hear those details and to be allowed to explain how Olvera got this video. Sherry was accused of being an extortionist because she had a copy of this video in her possession. And uh, we asked the judge to allow us to explain to the jury that it was given to her by the prosecutor. And it was given to her because they were asking her to cooperate. Olvera initially wanted to sue for $10 million. She claimed repeated abuse. She also said Giles broke a verbal agreement to financially take care of her. One of the key components of domestic violence is fear. And there was no fear here. Attorneys for the ball player portrayed Olvera as a gold digger who goes after rich athletes. We lived as a married couple. You know, I helped him raise his kids. He helped me raise mine. And it was nothing like that. You know, I, when I left, I left with nothing. When she left, she married former Yankee Chuck Knobloch, but they're getting divorced. She says domestic violence is the reason they separated. Rachel Bianco, 10 News. And it's unclear if Giles will be in court tomorrow. A decision on a new trial is expected within 90 days.